Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video, and today we have Transformer Siege War for Cybertron. And we got ourselves Autobots, Top Shot, and Flak. And this is my first time in the wild seeing these Siege figures, and uh, I wanted to get some of the ones with the little effects, but out of all of them, I definitely wanted to pick these guys up because I got uh, Hound coming, and I want to make sure that he has a pretty cool weapon in these guys do turn into a really cool weapon but it comes in that siege war for cybertron style packaging and then we also get stuff on the back so on the back it shows the actual figures you know it says how many steps per figure to transform them i guess top shot is a little bit more complicated than flak but flak looks so good and then they turn into a giant weapon which i mean come on it looks like a rocket launcher which would work great not for sideswipe but for hounds so let's go ahead and get these guys out of the package so we got Top Shot and Flak out of the package, and I turned them into vehicle mode so we can look at them first because this is very, very, very cool. I love the little Autobots symbol in the middle. It's painted on. It's not a sticker, which I am anti-stickers because they fall off and just don't usually aren't put on right. The rockets look really, really cool. You got the little painted treads. Um, there's no paint wear on it, like any, like, dry brushing or anything to give it look like they've been through combat or anything um but not too bad and you could easily add washes to this because that olive green as cool as it may be in plastic it just seems like plastic you need to add some little bit of silver dry brushing or something to make it look like it's metal but this thing is awesome little cutesy little rocket launcher vehicle i know they have names um then we got the tank over here and uh i i was really hoping the tires were going to be black like they showed on the packaging. And uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's got the little Autobot symbol on the top there. It's got the cannon. And uh, this is the one that supposedly is the most difficult and takes more turns. So, you know, what I do is I flip that up. You flip these down. That's his feet. Flip these back up. You can unhook his legs too. So you flip these back up. And then his arms sort of pop out rotate that back down and come on get this other one out the one thing i didn't care for it with this is like you got these really long arms why couldn't you add a little bit of a belt uh, uh, like an elbow bend in them because just like he has like the little bends in his knees and stuff can get some really cool bends going on there but like the arms are constantly in you know let me hug you mode and they don't even have any like peg holes to hold any guns or anything. So it's just like they got to be in vehicle mode to protect themselves, I guess. Oh, man, it's popped his leg off. But he does get waist swivel. And his leg popped off again. What the heck? Am I just moving in? And, no, these things, yeah, it just keeps popping off. But he does have waist swivel, um, you know, ball jointed shoulders. And uh, his head's. Actually, not too bad if we can focus there as I'm... There we go. See his mouth, his nose, and stuff. It's just solid blue. Got the nice little silver details. They put a lot of love in the this part right here with the paint and stuff, which should be because some people are going to be posing them in bot mode. Um, he does have his little skis or uh, ice skate looking thing going on. Not bad. Not bad. I just really wish we could have got a bend right here. It's just it's too long. Like, I just don't, I don't know. Like, you guys comment down below. What do you think? Like, this is just, like, you really don't get much you can do with those arms. That's one of those things. But let's set him there. Let's see if I can even get him to stand. Because he is top-heavy due to his backpack. And uh, okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and take a look at top shot. So, obviously, he's top shot because he has shots on the top. I don't know. I might even be getting their names wrong. We flip those down. That's his feet. You know, and then you get his arms, but make sure I got this right. Flip this back. His head flips up. And see this guy, his leg fell off too. So it's like these little ball joints for the hips are just not meant to be played with i guess but he has bends in his elbow or not his elbows but his knees and stuff and see his arms they're not as long 
So I can get away with not having any, you know, elbow bends with this guy. Um, wish they would have put some love into the paint and stuff. He doesn't have any waist swivel either. But, I mean, his head is painted a lot better than the other one, I think. Just because you have the two tones. You got the visor. You got the mouth. Looks very good. He's got little rocket booster feet. Everything tucks away very nicely. Like his backpack's not nearly as massive as, as you would think. Um, but I really, really dig these guys. Um, he can, you know, they can pose up pretty nice. But I mean, lanky arms here. He is, uh, he's the odd man out. He's just, he's just weird. I was totally wrong with these guys. <laughs> he's flack. That's top shot. Man, I'm telling you, I'm just, I'm, Losing it with the names, but let's go ahead and start turning this guy into a weapon. So here we got them combined into their rocket launcher cannon mode. From this angle, it looks pretty cool. Like this whole front part. It's just when you get to the back where Top Shot is, it gets all weird. Even the top looking like seeing his face. I mean, I wish there was like something that you could have done. They could have done to cover that. Um, but looking at the side, it's not bad. Looking straight on, it looks good. Um, but not a bad weaponized combined mode. And uh, they're pretty easy. Like his step was very easy because you just literally connect his feet together from bot mode, keep his arms at his sides, flip his head in, and you flip out this little dongle and you fold it back. So very easy because literally, boom, he's back into bot mode. This guy, not nearly as complicated, but, uh, or not nearly as easy, should I say, but it's not complicated either. It's all just basically you rotate the waist, which is why he has waist rotation versus the other one not. And there you go. He is back to bot mode. Flip his thing down. And, uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, it's, it's a cool little, cool little two pack. Not crazy expensive, but uh, definitely really cool to have up next to your giant other bots. And that sums up my unboxing and review of the new Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Autobot Top Shot and Flak. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more as I'm always going to be pumping out content. And I want you guys to check out Toy Code Toys and Collectibles because they're awesome groups. Join in. Interact with fellow nerds and toy collectors. And then the second one's pre-orders. Make sure you get those great deals and prices on those pre-orders on what's coming out. Because you want to be in the know with what is coming out. And you also don't want to be spending extra money on figures if you don't have to. I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting. Have a beautiful day.